Today I'm going to show you how to install a whirly bird, also known as a roof vent. Um, this is on a tiled roof. Check out my other video for installation on a metal roof. Uh, whirly birds uh, exhaust trapped hot air in the roof space to reduce temperature in the summer and in the winter they reduce moisture buildup which helps prevent mold growth. Let's go. Go three down from the top, one, two, three. So we're going to take this one out. So these second ones here above it, just push those up. If there was flashing down here, we'd cut it out, but there is none. So we'll just put this over here for now. Alright, so slide the base under these tiles here. slides around so get it level with the roof let me get my level came with it but I prefer to use these metal screws now we're going to screw the throat to the base there's some holes down the bottom see one there there's another one there another one there so Got, sorry guys, fixing strap. So we'll undo this. This fixing strap will sandwich it in between the throat and the base right there. And then the other end we will fix to the timber there. Just give it some support so you know it doesn't take off on a real windy day there we go so that's fixed in and we'll just bend that over now because this is metal I'm just going to make a, a hole with a metal screw let's just make sure where that's yep all right Heck. Oh, I don't think that screw is very good. Let's try another one. Much better. Alright, take it out. We'll get a timber screw. Let's change the drill bits over. Get our wood screw. Yeah, we're going to bend that strap. Strap over to the beam and we're gonna screw it into that. There we go. Hope you guys can see that. It's fixed into the timber there. And there's another screw uh, to put in here. Slide that over and that stops that once we screw it in from adjusting and changing it. We'll just bend down the sides here. You can 
can use your hands or mallet, base of your drill. Now, an optional extra is to silicon. Ah, you scrap a silicon. Baby wipe. You can use a baby wipe or wet finger, rag, whatever you want to use. So we'll just get silicon here and just silicon those screw holes to give it extra waterproofness. And then where this twists here, oh, did twist. We're just gonna silicon up in there as well, make that water tight. So now our throat is all siliconed up. We put our turbine on. This particular model here has these three points which will line up with the three holes in the top of the throat and those little notches there. So there's one. Push it down till the holes line up. There we go, there's a hole there. Let's get a screw. Hopefully you guys can see that. Move down a bit. There we go. So yep, the holes lined up. And there you have it. Will it be all done?